This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this duotone effect using GIMP. And what this is, is basically it's like a color filter but with two different colors. If you notice here the primary color is green, there's also blue involved here. So I'm going to show you how to create something like this with two different colors. So uh, go ahead and open up the image that I've linked in the description of the video and we'll get started. I'm just going to right click that and open it with GIMP. Now that we have this image open, what we want to do is add a transparent background to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click that and go to add alpha channel. And now what we want to do is get rid of the background here. So to do that, there's various ways to do that. The way I'm going to do that today is with the uh, fuzzy select tool. I'm going to click on that and I'm just going to go ahead and click on part of the background area, may, like maybe over here in the lower left and see what it selects. And if you notice, it selects a certain area. There's like a dotted line going around it. And with that selected, you can just press delete on the keyboard. Or if you don't have delete, if you're using Mac or something like that, you can go to edit, clear. Um, so that gets rid of that right there. So what we want to do is go ahead and delete more of this. So I'm going to click on this area over here. And then again, just press delete. I'll grab some of this area over here, see what it highlights. If it starts to highlight any of the subject, just go ahead and click somewhere else to delete something else So, uh, because we don't want to delete any of the subject. We want to leave that there and get rid of the background. So press delete. Let's see about this one here. Get rid of that. And that's pretty good right there. What we can do is just go to select none and uh, I'm going to add a new layer. I'm going to click the button right here that says create a new layer and add it to the image. And we want the layer fill type to be white. And go ahead and click OK. And I'm just going to click and drag this beneath the original image layer. And it's going to show us all of this stuff we missed. There's like little, I don't know if you can see on the video, but there's like little fragments here that we need to get rid of. So to do that, I'm going to grab the eraser tool. I'm going to click on the, the image layer here. And maybe I'll make this a little bigger. I'm using the hard brush, which is over here. And I'm just going to go and erase some of that out. You know what? I got to bring the opacity up. My bad. So I'm just going to go ahead and erase some of that out. Get rid of that up there. And if you notice here, I'm going to zoom in on this top right area over here. And to do that, I'm just holding control and rolling up and down the mouse wheel. And to move the page, I'm just pressing down the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. If you notice here, some of this shoulder got eliminated here, got edited out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold Alt and paint it back in with the eraser tool because the eraser tool allows you to do that. If you hold alt, it'll put the original image back there over whatever you're painting. So that looks pretty good right there. Um, if you notice, the edges are really choppy. So uh, what I'm going to do to fix that, or to make it a little better at least, I'm just going to right click that layer and go to alpha to selection. And then I'll go to select uh, shrink. And I want to shrink it one pixel, and I don't want to shrink from the image border. So I'll just leave that, un uncheck that box, and go ahead and click OK. And then I'll go to Select, Invert. And then I'll press Delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. And it just got, it got rid of some of that choppy area in there, but it's still looking pretty choppy. So to do, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to feather the edges to make it not look uh, so jagged. So to do that, I'll just go to Select, Grow and I want to grow it by one pixel, go ahead and click OK. And then I'll go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And uh, we want the, uh, the horizontal and vertical to be 1.0 pixels, and go ahead and click OK. And that's just going to blur the edges a little bit so it doesn't look so jagged, but it's, it still could look better. Let's go to Select, None, and you'll see it still looks pretty jagged. So what you could do if you want, you could take the eraser and just go in there and touch up the edges a little bit and just make everything look uh, smooth. I'm not going to do that for this tutorial. I don't want this video to be too long. So I'm just going to leave that as it is for now. Um, what I'll do now is uh, what we want to do is create a duplicate copy of this image right here because we're going to start editing this and it's always good to have a duplicate copy put aside in case you go a little overboard with the, with the original and you need to uh, you know go back and do something else. So I'm going to click this button here that says create a duplicate of the layer and add it to the image. And it's going to create a new layer up above that. 
And I'm just going to turn the visibility off on that and just click and drag this down to the bottom and just leave that out of the way in case we need to go back and grab another copy of it. So what I'll do is I'll take this first one up here and uh, actually, you know what? Let's click on the, uh, the white layer right here. We're going to make this the background color, which is going to be green as you can see here. So uh, what I'm going to do now with that layer selected, I'm going to choose the foreground color and I'm going to choose a green shade, which is over here, I, what I previously used. If you want to use this specific shade, it's a light, any light shade of green works, but if you want to use this specific shade, it's 6AFF7F. Go ahead and click OK, and then go, then go to Edit, Fill with Foreground Color, or FG Color, and it's going to make the background black. And what we want to do now is strip all the color away from the subject here. So we'll click on that, we'll click on the uh, subject layer up here, and go to color, desaturate. And we'll just leave it at lightness and go ahead and click OK. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna we're gonna fill this in with a blue shade like this. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is uh, first I'm gonna choose a shade of blue from over here. Uh, the shade I'm using for this one is uh, right here. It's 0061AB or any mid shade of blue like that should work. So. Uh, go ahead and set that as it is and let's go ahead and create another layer above that and for the layer fill type we want to choose foreground color for this one so go ahead and click OK and then I'm gonna to go to mode and I'm gonna choose lighten only and see how that looks okay that looks pretty good so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna right click that layer and go to merge down which is gonna finalize it as that color uh, which is why I created a duplicate copy over here of this. So in case we want to go back and try a deeper shade of blue or maybe even like pink or purple or something like that, we can do that. So uh, with that layer selected, once we've merged it down, let's go to mode and change that to darken only. And uh, what you're going to notice is that it kind of, uh, it kind of, uh, we're almost there, but not quite. In order to finish this up, we need to go to color, curves, and I want to take this top node and just bring this to the left a little bit. And that's going to lighten up the skin tone and make it more green, more compatible with like the background there. And then I'll take the curve down here and I'll just bring that down a little bit to make it more blue, something like that. And I could bring this over as well. And you can just adjust this as you see fit, like uh, to, to find a good balance between uh, like making sure that there's enough blue in the image and at the same time there's not too much contrast. Uh, like that, that looks pretty good right there. I can just go ahead and click OK. And there you pretty much have it. I mean, the only thing left to do now is to go around and clean up these edges. But uh, like I said, for this video, I'm not going to get all carried away with that. So um, I'll just leave that how it is. Uh, but that's how you can create a duotone effect. Uh, using GIMP. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.